Hello again. Uh, here we are to continue, um, you know, exploring phaser and looking at how phaser works and trying to, you know, you know, figure out like a complex library and dig into documentation and pull stuff out um, and make games, right? So in our last um, example, you know, we, we got the game pretty much set up. We added this game over screen and we also added the splash screen, right? So we can click on the splash screen and play the game. So let's talk a little bit about the game mechanics here and um, just, you know, try and figure out what's going on, right? So phaser, phaser is using a physics library to determine like how things collide, like the character, you know, bounces off the platform here, you know, gravity pulls it down. And when the character runs into a star, the star disappears because we can tell that the player and the star are overlapping, right? So, so how does phaser do that, right? Well, phaser has a, a built-in, and this is used by a lot of systems, so it's not just phaser, but, you know, like every every game you've used has something similar built into it, right? <clears throat> they have a, they, they all use a, a physics library, right, or a physics simulation. And so the simulation actually keeps track of all the objects in, like, a separate system, and those objects, like, resolve um, every frame they resolve collisions, they resolve like where objects should be on the screen and how fast they should be moving. And then every body in the physics system is tied to a sprite or like an element that you see on the screen, right? And so it'd be really helpful for us if we could see what the physics simulation look like, right? So let's let's try that out. So I'm gonna go to, um, to my code here and I'm gonna go to the config object, and when I look at the config object, you can see there's a, a bunch of stuff in here, right? And one of the options is physics, right? So this is where we configure the physics system, and there's a couple different systems to use. Um, we're using the arcade system, which is less accurate, but faster to process, so, you know, and it's, it's, it's good for games, maybe, right? And then we can configure arcade with, you know, gravity and debug. This debug option, if we set it to true, I'm gonna do that now, and then I'll save, and you can see the game reloads, and when I play it this time, you can see each of the objects has like this little box around it. So the box is the physics body. So as far as the game is concerned, you know, for collisions, this character is a rectangle about this big, right? And each star is a rectangle about this size, right? So that means if the character jumps up, you can see the box, the top of it, not his head, hits the platform, right? Because the simulation is just the boxes, right? And actually, it's hard to tell, but these little green platforms all have a, a box around them too, right? So these are all rectangles that are in the physics simulation, right? Um, the green line that you see is the vector. So that's kind of saying like what direction the character is moving, like due to their um, their velocity, right? It's kind of mapping out the velocity. Okay, so what can we do with that? And you can see like when I run into the to the stars too, um, they um, they uh, they disappear, but their their um, their physics body stays here because we actually just disabled the physics body. So that makes the star disappear, but the body stays where it is, and then we just don't collide with it anymore, okay? So anyway, so we turn that on, and that's pretty cool. Um, I was digging around in the uh, the documentation, and I was trying to figure out, like, how can I m change the shape of the physics body? So I'm going to go to, um, let me see if I can figure where that is. I think it was like, I think I started here, um, at um no 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 you know what i did is i found this like like okay so i already know that and you you guys might not know this but i've i've done some stuff with other physics engines too i'm just not familiar with the phaser physics engine and i know that they use the term body to describe the um these little boxes right so the physics body is the thing that that determines the collisions right and so i want to modify the physics body right so if i go to the documentation you know i want to find the um the you know the body right so it says class body um and then you can you know i, I gotta kind of i had to kind of read through this to figure out like what what we're talking about right so um 
you know, because there's class body, there's tile body, there's static body, right? So I think this body is the one that I was looking for, and it probably also belongs to sprite and image. So when you create an image, an image can have one of these inside it, right? Um, I know it's hard for you guys to, to do that the first time, but you know, the, you, you learn as you go, right? Um, so anyway, I, I got to, oh, look, here we are. Physics, we're using arcade physics, and then here's the body, right? And then I remember looking through here, and I was like, okay, so how can I set the shape of the body, and or I want to make it a circle, or I want to set the radius? So I started looking through here, and I found um, I found this property is circle, okay? And it looks like you can set it to a Boolean. So I, I tried to set this... Um, but it didn't work, so then I was like, okay, well, what do I, what will I do? And if if you click on this link here, it takes you to the actual code that runs the system, right? So here's the actual code that they're using, and that's not going to get me anywhere, right? I'm not going to read that. It's too much stuff. And then here's more documentation, right? So this kind of says set circle, right? So I, I clicked on this, and then I went in here, and I, lo I, I looked like, oh, hey, we have a, a function called set circle that takes a radius with an optional offset x and y, okay? And then I've got, uh, I've got you know, radius offset x and y, and it kind of tells me what they do. Radius of the body, set and source in pixels, um, horizontal offset, um, of the body on the game object source and pixels, right? So let's give this a try. So I'm gonna copy this. Now, here's the thing, um, it's hard to tell here, but I'm kind of like, I'm kind of like knowing that I need to, um, and it doesn't really read well here, but essentially like I have an object and then it will have a body property and I'll call set circle on the body, right? And it's kind of the, the documentation isn't really showing me how to do that, but I'm kind of guessing, right? So so if I go into game scene here, this is what I did. I had to experiment a couple times to get this to work, right? And, you know, I've got a method here called create player and all the player stuff is organized under that method. And here is where I created the player object and then I could, you know, modify it, right? So what I did is I said, you know, this dot player dot set circle. Oh, look, and then it actually it showed up on the menu here. So let's see if that works, right? And it kind of gives me some sort of a description. Doesn't really help too much there, right? But but if we remember from the um, from the documentation, you know, it said that, um, let me actually go back here, right? It said that you can include the radius, offset, X, and Y. So let's just try the radius for now. And I'll give it a radius of like 10 pixels, right? And then we can look at it. And if I click here, oh, look, so that's a radius of 10 pixels. And you can see like my character moves and the artwork just passes through here because as far as the simulation is concerned, the the character is this shape right okay so so that's pretty good this would actually you know maybe make a better i mean not like this but if i change the circle to be more the shape of the character here or more the size of the character it might make a more accurate game right and then actually these stars would be a lot better as circles too so let's see if we can modify our circle a little bit more and uh I'm going to change the radius. I, I experimented a little bit. I think I came up with a radius of 12 was pretty good. Maybe a little bit bigger. Um, 13 maybe. So that's pretty good. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the offset. So if I do an offset of, um, let's say, 1 on the X... You can see like the circle moves a little bit to the right. Maybe I got to do two on the X. And now you can see it's like just about in the middle there. And now I want to bring it down so it's more around the body of the character. So maybe I'll bring it down about eight pixels, right? Oh, so it works perfectly on his head, but actually I really want it down here on the body. So, um, and, and here's the thing, you can actually create... Um, Phaser probably has this built in, maybe, maybe not in the arcade system, right? But uh, there, you can set the shapes of physics bodies, and there's a bunch of rules and systems are based around that. Um, 
I, I think that the um, the circle is like one of the more efficient shapes like mathematically for the computer to process. So to keep our game performance up, I'm going to just stick with the circle and it's easy to do, right? So um, maybe I'll make this, um, maybe I'll bring this down 12 pixels, right? Oh, not quite. Maybe I got to make it a little bit bigger. Maybe I got to make it um, 14. I don't know. Anyway, you got to play with the numbers. So so that gets us started. Um, here's your goal, right? Set up the circle to where you like it on the character, right? So it works well with your character, right? I think we're actually getting a better game here. And uh, then do the same thing with the stars, okay? Give the stars a physics body that is a circle, okay? And then we'll continue in another video. Actually, in the bomb would be a great one for a circle too because it's a circle shape, right? So anyway, thanks for watching.